Alright, so welcome back to another story time. Now, next story time will be in about a week because I don't want to post all my stories and then not have anything to post. So, this story, best way to describe it. Alright, well, I'm just going to go into it. Well, there's not really a best way to describe it. But, it was junior year. So my last year in high school. And me and Jared, I'd take Jared home with me every day after I got out of school because he uh, didn't have wrestling in the first like quarter. So I'd drive him home because I'd go home right after anyway. So he's on the way, so i take him with me. So we're driving one day, and it was like the weekend. It was Friday. We, another thing happens. We drive to school. We drive back. And then... Uh, that weekend, we had like that huge rain flood moment where it's like that monsoon and all the roads were getting closed and it was just, you know, the most rain we've ever had here. So, uh, I'm like, okay, we didn't go to school on the weekend because it's the weekend. Monday came, me and Jared were going to go, we're driving home from school and, uh, there's one, there's one way we would go that would take a straight and then we have to make a right and then go down for some waste. And then we finally hit like one of the, the roads by our houses. And Jared's like, well, there's a, there's a shorter way. You know, and he's like, it's it can save us some time. Well, I already knew about the way, but I just decided we both kind of just were like, yeah, we should take that way instead. You know, bypass some of the traffic. So instead of going all the way down and making a right, like at the very end, cause we drive for like 20 minutes and make a right. So we went, we went about 10 minutes down and made a right. And it took us onto this one road. And this road was like, uh, it was like hills. The road was, it would go straight, dip, come up, dip, and like that, straight. Now, now we're driving, it's Monday, mind you. And we hit this road and it says road closed so we make like uh, another right and we just like go on a detour and go around it so come like Wednesday Wednesday or Thursday the road closed signs gone and so we're like all right well the road should be good to drive so we're driving and I'm going the speed limit which is like 40 45 I'm going that and uh I'm driving and I, I just, we feel like something hits us from behind. And that was one huge hit, like, poof, like our heads went forward. And then the second one hit us again. Poof, and then it took us, it took me a second to realize what had happened. Now, what happened was kind of like, uh, an accurate interpretation of it would be like this. That was like what happened. Apparently, I didn't see it. I was like, I don't know. I did not see a sign. But there was a sign that said road damage. Like, like road damage. I didn't see the sign. And I guess the hills, normally they'd be like this. Part of it washed out. So it wasn't like, a, I don't know. It was like hitting a jump, pretty much. And I remember we were like, and we hit, and we landed, and we're just, like, sitting there. And I look at Jared, and the windshield wipers are all going crazy. And I turn off the windshield wipers, and I'm like, you all right? And he's like, yeah, I'm all right. And he's like, he's like, are you? And I'm like, yeah. So we keep driving. There's, like, this old lady, like, in uh, a turn lane trying to turn. We're going straight. She's going to turn and go behind us, like, go the opposite direction. She's just staring at us, so we kept driving. And we pulled into a church parking lot, and uh, we checked the car and it was uh not nothing too too bad I mean we didn't notice anything so we drive to Jared's house and mind you 
my everything. I had my wallet, my phone, uh, like headphones. I had them all in the, like the cup holder because I don't like driving with stuff in my pockets because it makes my legs feel like they're like I don't know. Just I can't do it. I can't drive with stuff in my pockets. I always take it out and put it in the door of the cup holder. And uh, all of that was in the very back, not the back seats, but like in the back where like the trunk area is. That's how far it flew back. So it means we were airborne. Now, uh, J we told Jason, and Jason's like, uh, "Yeah, you bent the hell out of the control arms. The control arms are supposed to be straight, like like this." And they were like, "Like, uh, like this. They're supposed to be like this. They were like this." And I was like, "Oh man." So in retrospect, I had to pay two hundred dollars for these control arms, and that was just an estimate. Jason didn't even give me a real, like, full price. He said it doesn't cost at least two hundred, so he took my two hundred I had. <sighs> a good song I'd be playing though when this went down would be, "Turned Down for What," because you know, built up, it'd be like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. "Turn Down for What" when we hit, because it'd been perfect, because it was just. It fit that song, but yeah, that's happened. Uh, it's pretty bad. So the car is drivable still. The only thing that was that pretty much wrong with it is the door makes a noise when you open it. That's because it's grinding against uh, the front end. Cause we apparently pushed everything back. Like the car's like this. We we pushed it back. So not nothing too, too major. So, yeah, that wraps up for this video. Uh, next story time will be in, in like a couple days or maybe next week. It'll be uploaded within a week, I can tell you that. But it's not going to be like tomorrow because I need to save some of these stories. I don't want to put them all just day after day after day after day and then not have anything. So, yeah, that's the end of the story. Leave a like if you guys liked it. Uh, yeah. Have a good day.